hear you? Now I can hear you, that's good. Perfect. All right, so everybody should be on mute. We're all joining. This is so exciting. It is, it is. I can't believe it. We're doing it, Ashley. I know. This is great. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. You were so much fun to work with in New York, and I just never dreamed that we'd be able to do this. And Oh, yeah, we will. We will. Don't worry. No, we that's great. So we've way. got the USA, and we've got UK, and we've got, obviously, Europe, and you said Canada and South America. So welcome to everyone, guys. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> so, um, well, I, go on, Ashley. Oh, oh, go ahead. All right. So for people who do not know me, I'm Sandrine and I've been a master trainer for over 20 years for Physical Man Institute New York with Ashley Benson who's with me. And we're really excited actually because we're going to teach you a math class. I will be teaching it the way we normally teach people, I mean Pilates. And Ashley is going to do it with the type four. Type four, obviously, some of my UK clients will know, obviously, about it because we do have it at the studio. We haven't used it much, but we are going to use it even more. This is very much like, a, well, I'm going to let Ashley introduce herself and talk about the type four. Should yeah. we? Okay. Um, so we're, it's this harness, and if you are using it, then let's go ahead and put it on and it will give us the opportunity to do um, some assistance. Uh, there's, you know, certain exercises that may stress or strain the hip flexors, the neck, different areas of the body. And then we can also use it for resistance. So after Sandrine leads the exercise, then I will show you how to uh, hold the bungees and pull them uh, for both options. Great. Yeah. E excellent. Great. So let's do it, guys. Are we all ready? So, guys, you are going to give us not 100%, but 200%. Are we ready for that? Yes. Can, we, can I see the thumb up? <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Can you all hear me? Yes. Good. Perfect. Let's do it. So we are going to start on your mat. And we're going to lengthen the spine first and we're going to reach down very slowly. You're going to lie down and we're going to activate your abdominal in the top position. So from here, you're going to lift up slightly your foot and you're going to extend the leg and bring it back. You're going to really work on your abdominals as you're doing that. So you're inhaling, exhaling to bring it back. You're going to place that foot down on the floor. It's like if you're placing it on marshmallow, so you're not putting your whole weight on it. So your pelvis is still in the right alignment and it's not moving. So you're going to inhale, exhale to bring it back and activate your abdominals. And again, we're going to do a few of those and Ashley is going to show you how we can actually perform this exercise with the type four. Yes, so just hold your leg bungees and you can use it to help slide the leg back in or you can pull the bungees out to the side with your hands down and that will begin to recruit the inner thigh muscle. Good. Should we go to the next exercise, Ashley? Yes, let's do it. Good. All right. Now, relaxing your shoulders still, you're going to lift up one leg and you're going to extend the leg up to ceiling. So we're going to go for our circles, small circles. And actually doing this one, I remember how good the typo feels because you really add resistance to your workout. And I find personally it's not just for instructor but clients will really see the benefits of it so with the type because you suddenly 
get assisted with the typo, but you as well adding resistance. Now we're going to change site and let's show um, Ashley how she's doing it with the typo. So just hold the leg bungee, pull the leg in towards your face, elbow down, and use the bungee to guide the leg. Good. And I swap leg as, as well, guys, if you haven't swap leg, swap leg. Good. And come back here. Good. And come back up. And lengthen in your spine. I could see that some of my UK clients having the time for at home. I love it. It's good. Yeah. So the one we don't have it, let's do it together. You're going to have your hands here. And we're going to roll down. So we're going to go very slowly. And I know how difficult this one can be for people. We're going to have the arms over your head. You're going to inhale. Exhale, up to sitting. Remember, we're keeping sliding the ribs down. And using your breath, you're going to come up and coming up here. And lengthening your spine. We're going to do the same thing. And Ashley is going to show us as I'm doing this one, she's going to show us with the side four. Okay, so as you begin to lift the upper body up, grab the leg bungees and use them to help lift the body up. And then for the stretch, take the bungees out to the side, and that harness gives you a nice push down on your back to get a deeper uh, stretch. Pull the bungees above the leg and release down and complete the movement. That's good. And coming back up. And relaxing here. Good. I, I do know that with a typo, it's so easy to go back because you've got resistance to hold on to. And obviously, it does help, which you need it, especially if you're not strong enough yet. Now, the next one, you're going to go down on the floor here. You're going to lift up both of your legs, and I'm going to go over. Then my feet are going to touch the floor, and I'm going to articulate my spine one vertebra by the time, reaching down and lengthening the spine, reaching up to sitting again, inhaling. As you exhale, you're engaging your abdomen on to going over. I'm placing my hands on the floor. And I'm going to reach down again, one but about a time. And Ashley is going to show us with a tie four. A great way to use a tie four, take your leg bungee and slide it over and hold on just under one hand. So the left side will be tighter. And then you have more bungee on the left. Hold the hands down, just like Sandrine said. And from there, it will give a little bit of support and resistance to push into. It will give some feedback on where the feet are going, where the legs are moving, and some resistance. Good, next one, we're going to come back here and you're going to extend one leg. And we did this one for your warm up, which is your leg circle. So we're going to make a big one now, remember? So you're going to bring your legs across, coming back up, in, and coming back up, two, and three, and four, and five. Last one, lift. We go down, and Ashley will show you on the second leg. Okay, again, just hold your leg bungees and use that to guide the leg, elbows down into the mat, circle it around, and it will give you more support for the leg, help you to uh, take care of the hip flexors and get a greater range of motion. How many we've done, Ashley? <laughs> I'm not quite counting, but I would say this is five. 
<laughs> One more before we go to the next exercise, guys. And come back. Good. All right. Single leg stretch. Coming back up here. You're going to extend one leg away. This leg is coming up. One hand is inside, the other one on the outside. I'm lifting up for my shoulders. So we go one, two, and one, two, and one, two, and one, two. Now, guys, if you do suffer from neck problem, you're going to hold it here. Okay? Elbows back. And Ashley is going to show us how it works with the tie fold. Keep doing it, guys. Okay, so hold your leg bungees, and you're gonna do the same movement, hand comes to the knee, but you're gonna pull out away from your body with the opposite arm, turning your head. You'll definitely feel how this is recruiting more of the core, more inner thigh muscles. That's good. And come back and relax down. Good. Are we ready, guys, to work harder? Now, you only do the next one if you're not big enough, okay? And if you do not have a back problem. The next one is a little bit more difficult. It's why the, the bungee, actually, the typo really helps when you're not strong enough. So you're going to have your hands here. And you're going to inhale to prepare. I'm still lifting up for my shoulders. Exhale, extend. We're going to make seconds come back. Good. Inhale, exhale around. That's it. Can we see Ashley and see what she's doing with the bungee? We're still doing it, guys. If it's too much, you're just going on single leg stretch. So I want you to put your arms inside the leg bungees and pull the bungees up to your shoulders. Okay, so one more time, arms inside the leg bungees and then they pull up over the shoulders. And then we just do the same move, extend, circle and pull in. Good, I think it's probably enough here guys, what do you think? Oh, shame we miss them, we can't hear them. Screaming. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we nasty, aren't we? All right. <laughs> now you're going to come up to a sitting position, guys. And you're going to slightly open your legs, please. And from here, we're going to lengthen the spine to start with. And we're going to go reaching forward. So your hands are going to be placed on the floor. And we're reaching forward here. And coming back up. Lengthening your spine, smiling, and reach back down again. And coming back, and Ashley's going to show us as well how to do it with the typo. Okay, so take one of your leg bungees and cross it behind your foot. And this is going to give us some support. It's going to help us give something to push out into, and you can feel the resistance when you're rotating the hips and it's gonna support through the thoracic and the hip flexors. Good, excellent. Actually, what I think you're doing just after that because we're in the right position you're going to open your arms to the side, guys. Good. You're going to lengthen from the top. Remember, when I'm doing that exercise, I work on my abdominals. So you're still working on your abdominals too. We're going to rotate to the side. You do that, you're spinaling up to the top. And now from here, I'm going to reach down to my little pinky and I'm going to count for two. So we go one, Two, coming back, lengthening, lengthening. Use your abdominal still and rotate to the other side. We're going one, two, coming back, lengthening your spine. And again, and reach, and two, and back, lengthening, 
and other side and actually I'm going to show us how nice it is with a typo. How people would you have a typo? It does really help with this one. So you're doing that same wrap that we came into before and then you're going to use the arm bungee to help stretch and lengthen the arms. It'll even give you a little extra push into that stretch. And coming back and relax. Good. I want to actually work on the open leg rocker. Can we do it with a typo? We can, absolutely. We can do everything. All right, so let's do it. You're not going to enjoy that, guys, but it doesn't matter. Whoever is around you is going to have a good time. Okay, let's do it. Remember, if you do have a back problem, you don't do these exercises. You're going to grab your legs. You're going to extend them here. Ta-da! We're going to roll back. When you roll, you're making sure that your back is nice and wrong. You never, ever roll on your neck. Pas dans le coup. We're going to extend here. We're going to go back here. Use your tummy. Reach back and come back. <laughs> Coming back up here. So I guess the typo would help with this one, yeah? Can we show Ashley how it works? <laughs> oh, yes. So this is really helpful on this one. So take your leg bungees and put them inside your leg and then reach around and grab them. You don't want the bungees to be crossed, otherwise you can't open the legs out to the side. So one more time I'm gonna show you. Take your leg bungees, put them inside the leg, let go, reach on the outside and grab. So it's wrapping the legs. Okay, and now I want you to pull back with the elbows so that we're um, using a lot of the back chain, like straight, and then you can try this difficult exercise. And the bungees give you a little bit of something to hold on to and work with as you're finding the balance. Good. It looks really good, Ashley. Thank you. <laughs> it's just as good when I do it without the bungee. <laughs> I, I love oh, I it. <laughs> yeah, I can see you're not all doing it. When she's explaining for people with a bungee, you still have to do it too. Okay. Yeah. Right, this one, you're going to lie down on your back. Lie down on your back. And you're going to extend the legs. Now, it's kind of my version of the corkscrew because I, it's not my favorite. So let's show you. You're going to have both of your legs here and I just want little circles. So what I do, I'm moving my pelvis slightly up and uh, I'm not going all the way. I'm just going here. Then I'm going to reverse that. So you are working all around your obliques. You're working on your abdominals and it's pretty safe because you're lying down here. Now, Ashley's going to show us the version with a typo. Okay, there are a few ways that you can do this, but this is definitely my favorite for this exercise. So take your leg bungees and cross them behind the legs, and then you're gonna bring that uh, cross position up above your hips. Okay, so now you're feeling the cross behind the back, it comes up and it's actually wrapping. I don't know if you can see it wrapping around the leg. So it's gonna keep them together. I'm gonna to show you one more time. Take your leg bungees, lift your hips, cross the leg bungees, and then lower the hips and you're in that position. Now let's try corkscrew. <laughs> it actually gives you a little help with lifting the hips with that bungee cross behind the back. Yeah, that's really good. Well, you've got more support, I guess, so yeah. Yeah, for oh, sure. Like, you yeah. have to walk your legs inward. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's really good. Okay, let's do another one, which I like doing, because I love working on abdominals, and you know it, guys. So let's do it. 
I usually ask people to place my hands uh, behind the head just to make sure it doesn't go into your legs. So you're going to come up here and you're going to lift both of your legs up. So when both of your legs are up, I want you to imprint your lower back to protect your lower back. Okay, guys? And from here, I'm lifting up from my shoulders and I'm going to reach down and up and down and up. Obviously, you could do all that with your hands here. It's up to you, depending on your abilities, but depending as well on your neck really here. Can we see it with a tight four? Okay, so hold your tight four to get resistance. If you're floating your head up, you can hold the bungees, hands down on the ground, lock them down, and then do the movement. You'll definitely feel the resistance for your abdominals. Now, if you want to support your head, we did this one earlier. Put your arms inside the leg bungees, bring it up to your shoulders, and now your hands are free and they can support the head and you're still getting that support and assistance in the hip flexors. However, it's not, it's not assistance that makes the exercise, the muscles work easier. Like it's still hard, difficult on the muscles, but it's assisting the areas that are often strained. Relax the head and lower. Yeah, that looks good. I'm happy you're doing it with a typo and I don't do it with a typo for, the, for this exercise. <laughs> it looks too hard. <laughs> All right, next one. Oh, I like to see the love to do the, I have to do the. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to lift up here, remember, two options obviously guys if it's too much for you you can lie down completely and it's fine so reaching up i want to make it harder because i know they're working harder with the type four so hey we're going to extend both legs you're going to grab your leg and we're going to go for two counts again we're going one two but lift from here and one two and one two so i'm trying to guess with the type four maybe it's on the side here can you show us ashley Yes, and you're exactly right. And this one really adds the resistance. It's a good yeah. idea. Your hands, yeah, like it's tough. Slide your hands up closer to the harness and then pull down from there. It'll give your legs plenty of room and then plant the hands on the ground and then start the exercise. I do like this because the harness will actually help keep the neck relaxed and floating because it put it kind of pulls down out away from the ears. So that is another advantage. And you can pull the bungees away from the body and get more resistance. And as you're doing pulling away, your inner thighs have to recruit to keep the leg in alignment. Good. All right, That's, that really looks hard. Okay, next one. I'm going to do the bicycle. I think people with the typo is going to really hate me now. Guys, I'm really sorry. It's going to be so hard for you, but let's do it. Try to come up a little bit more for the one with no typo because you need to be working as well. And let's go for the bicycle with a typo. And it's the same thing, the same bungee pull that we were just doing. Just gonna pull out away from the body. And yeah, we're working. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> Woo, I'm feeling it. <laughs> You're not talking anymore. What's wrong, Ashley? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have any other words. I've got to concentrate right now on my abdominals. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. I love it. I absolutely love it. And come back. <laughs> Let's give a break to the people with the time for. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go sideways. And by the way, guys, we haven't rehearsed on anything. We, um, Ashley got no idea which exercise I'm going to be doing now. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go sideways. I, I just went to some side surgery, and I know with the time for, it has to be doing. So here we're going to have the legs in parallel, remember hips on top of each other, shoulder on top of each other. Ideally, I like it this way, this way it doesn't go into your neck. You're going to um, work on your abdominals, but I'm going to 
change it and have it on my uh, elbow now. You're going to lift the leg and reaching up and down. So let's see with the type of how it goes with just the up and down. So you're going to just hold the top leg bungee, hold it, and it's going to guide the leg. And I generally like to say, pull the leg up and then use the bungee to draw it in a little bit more than you would if you weren't using the bungee. So you want to lighten the leg, get more hip mobility, and let the muscles relax because your arm is doing more work. That's good. Now, I fancy having the legs going forward as well. Can we do kick forward and kick back with a bungee? Yes, so hold it. And you're gonna basically pull in opposition of your movement. So when you kick the leg forward, you're gonna push the bungee back and then the leg goes back and you're gonna flip the hand and push forward. So you get into this rhythm of pushing and pulling and it creates, of course, more muscle firing. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> And, and a bonus with the type four, you get a bonus upper body work. This is fantastic for the shoulders and the triceps and the biceps. So it's adding an upper body workout. Yeah, I think it's great. It's great. Okay. Okay, Ashley, now I'm going to ask you to have the leg back. So I want your leg back here. I'm still pressing here, guys. So you're just lifting up. Did you hear what Ashley said? They are working actually on their upper body. So if you don't have anything, you need to work on it. So reaching back. And I want some circles in the back. Is it possible, Ashley, with a typo? Oh, everything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, let's, if we want to put, make this exercise on steroids, you take this bungee, pull it forward and put your hand down in front. Okay, lock that hand down. And now do your circles. That's really good. Oh. <laughs> I'm already in agony with that type four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm burning. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right, coming back. We're going to bring the knees up. So you want your heels in line with your, uh, with your boots. And we're going to lift up the knee and we're going to bring it down. I'm really intrigued to know how we're going to do this one with a top four. All right, I've got this. Take your left <laughs> bungees, cross them in front, and then bring the knees through the center. So you've got a cross position right here in the belly and then the ankles are crossed. So it'll keep, the ankles together, and now you've got resistance as you open up the knee. Oh, that's excellent. I'm never going to teach a math class anymore, that's it, without the bungee. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> I'm sure people would think it's a uh, ripped off if I don't have a bungee now in the classes. <laughs> That's good. All right, guys. So obviously we did one side. We need to go on the other side. Let's do it. Let's go on the other side. You're going to lengthen your beautiful long legs. And obviously it's harder if you do have long legs, which is not my case. Now from here, pressing down into your elbow, working on your abdominals, still a on top of each other, reaching up and down. And let's see actually how she's grimacing doing it. Are you still smiling, Ashley? Oh, I'm very happy. I'm having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I can ignore the muscle burn. Um, hold your leg bungee again. And this is the one where we just want to use it to lighten the leg. Help release and relax the leg muscle, which is a little counterintuitive. When you move the leg, the leg muscles want to be involved, right? So it takes some practice to unweight the leg. But once you do, you can begin to create more range of motion. Yeah. 
I like it. All right, let's go for the kick forward. So we're going to flex for two, and then we reach back. You're opening the hip flexors and reach all that. And obviously, for all the uh, I mean, all the people who's been doing uh, Pilates, you recognize obviously the repertoire. That's what we do. And for I know that some of you are instructors. That's very much what we do with uh, PMI, with Physical Man Institute. And some of you are yoga instructor as well. And you need to learn so much just by doing all these exercises. That's great. I love it. Can we show Ashley? Well, Ashley is pushing and pulling in opposition of the leg movement. So kick the leg forward, push back on the bungee, leg swings back, and you push forward. And I am definitely firing up in my arms and my shoulders. Good. And then we're going to keep the leg back. So you're keeping your leg back and we're going to make the circles. Can you show us with the circles? Yes, holding your leg bungee, pull the hand down in front, use that to anchor and create some stability and then circle that leg. That's really good. Oh, my hip is agony right now. My glutes, my bone, everything. And come back. Should we lie down, guys? Do you fancy that? All right, let's do it. We're going to lie down and we're going to go for our favorite one, the bridge. I want to work on our bones. So let's see. Actually, I'm, I'm quite intrigued to know how we're going to do the bridge. I uh, guess the bunch is going to be on the side to have resistance, yeah? Lifting up, working on your glutes, and reaching back down one bit at a time. Please keep your feet in parallel and your heels closer to your bum as well. And up we go, and Ashley is going to show you with the bungee with the type four. There's two great ways I use the type four with bridging. Number one, uh -huh. hold your leg bungees. Just pull down from the harness and then bring the arms out to the side, plant the hands, and do your bridging. Another way that you can do it is to take the leg bungees and cross them in front and then wrap them on the outside of the legs, put the feet down, and now you've got a little bit of feedback as you um, can push out into the bungees. And that will also free your arms up. So I do use both variations. That's really good. Now, can we stay up guys and lift one knee up and just going with tiny pulses with the knee up. Can we do that? Or maybe with a bungee, you do it with your leg extended? <laughs> yes, so hold your leg bungees. I like to extend because you have an opportunity to pull the leg in closer to the face. And I'll show you on the other leg. So you use the leg, pull it in, push the back of the leg, and then your opposite hand can go out to the side to triangle away from the body. Hmm. Yes, yeah, and come back down. Excellent. And coming back up here. And we're going to stretch forward. Can we stretch forward here? And stretch back. And reach again. And back. Now we're going to go for the cat. I would expect the bungee to go over your, your back as you're doing that, no? Let's do it. So you're going to place your hands down on the floor and you want to make sure you're working on your abdominals here. So you're going to tuck and the first, looking up and reaching. Push, 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 push. Nice stretch. But I'm sure Ashley is going to show you that it's even better with a tight fall. So you can cross it just like you said, Sandrine. You would want to put your hands and probably your thumbs in the outside loop 
because you're not going to have a lot of space, a lot of room for the bungee unless you wanted to shorten it. Usually in a class for flow purposes, I'll have everyone front cross the bungees and then you can hold them and that's going to give the resistance and some feedback on the back as well. So I'm front cross and then you're pushing up into the harness. Good. Then I want to extend one leg away and reach it up. We're going to reach down and up. So I'm not moving my pelvis here. I'm just lifting up and down. I love working on glutes. Let's do it with a tight fall, Ashley. I'll go ahead and uncross the arm bungees and I went back to the standard position. Otherwise, it is possible to kind of get too uh, tangled up and you kind of feel like a pretzel. Um, but this one is fantastic for adding resistance. So what you're going to do is let's do the left side, slide the bungee over to where it's shorter on the right side and you have more bungee on the left and then grab it closer to the harness, put the hand down and then you can extend the leg and begin the movement. And if it feels like a little too tight to straighten the leg, just pull down from the harness and begin. Good, and we can change side, still doing that. We can change leg. I can't imagine how hard it would be with a tight fall because I'm already in agony without it. <laughs> so it's like adding weight really on your foot because right now you're adding resistance. Is that right? It is, it's adding resistance and it's also kind of closing in the joints because you're connected from the foot all the way to the hand. Yeah. Just, it feels really nice. Like your body is more supported and it feels safer, but yeah. at the same time, it's harder because you're firing a lot more muscles because you've got the, um, you've got the resistance. Yeah, no, absolutely. All right, I think it's enough on that beautiful bump. <laughs> now let's go for everybody's favorite, the plank. Should we do the plank? We're going to press into the hand, extend here. We're doing a plank, but I want to see how hard it's going to be with one leg up and down and swap again and down. So remember guys, you're working on your abdominal tear. Whenever it's too much, you bend your knees, you relax and you come back because that's going to be quite hard and Ashley is going to show us with a cycle. So we will do the arm bungee front cross for this. And because we're up on our hands, I, I, I'm going to put my hands in the outer loop, loop number two. You can try it with the closer loop as well. And now the bungees are crossed and upper body's working. You feel the abdominals firing and engaging. I feel it without the bungee. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Well, I'm shaking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's relax, guys. Let's go for the next one. Should I find an easy one? Once again, by the way, uh, Ashley does not know what I'm going to give her. <laughs> no, it's a nice one. You're going to cross your legs here. And I'm sure it's going to be nice to have the bungee around and just to go side, bring it back to center, lengthening from the top and reaching to the other side. Can we see it with a bungee, with a type, uh, type four? I keep saying bungee, but it's type four, guys. Yes. Okay, so take your leg bungees and cross them first and then wrap them on the outside of the leg and then go into the position. And it's just going to give a little bit of support even with the hips open and then arms out to the side and it's going to help lift the chest keep the arms long and we can start the rotation so 
That's good. Can we actually now from here lift the arms up and down just to make it harder? I'm trying to really make sure you're going to suffer, Ashley. <laughs> Thank you. I knew we were good friends. <laughs> so, yeah, when you're lifting your arms up, it is really nice because the harness is lifting and you feel the, the ribs open, you feel the abdominals lengthen. It feels really nice, even though my shoulders are complaining a little bit. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I think after that session, Ashley is not talking to me anymore. <laughs> oh, we'll still be friends. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <here. laughs> now, can we extend the legs and reach? I want a nice stretch on the back. And I just feel with the bungee, it's probably something that you get more of a stretch when you do that and come back up. But how do you position your, um, your bungee? Um, you, can, you can front cross the arm bungees, but a lot of times I won't even do that. I will have you reach your arms out and then lift them, reach and lift just a little bit and you feel that wonderful thoracic support and you feel the support that it gives to the hip flexors so you can use the bungees basically the longer your arms are reaching the more support that you have ah. that's good and come back here that's good. And I know I've been keeping everything on the mat and I use personally the type four for standing and I absolutely love the standing work uh, with the type four because it does help. I know ballet dancers using it a lot, but I, um, apparently now the yoga teacher is absolutely loving the type four as well. So can we demonstrate one of the uh, yoga moves, like I mean the down dog, and if we go with one leg up, and down, uh, how would he affect it with the type four? Um, okay, well, I wouldn't use any special variations. I think you can get creative, definitely do it. But even yeah. just with the arms in their original spot, and when you pike up, you feel that stretch, you can really feel the back. And then when you extend the body, of course, then the, the leg bungees will tighten up. You can play with it like we did earlier by putting one leg bungee under a hand. That definitely will give more. Yeah. But then you have, you're kind of restricted on lifting the leg. You could lift the opposite leg. That's actually really good. So it is a creative tool that we can just play with, figure it out. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as I said, my favorite is really standing. We'll have to do a class just standing. I mean, a ballet class. It would be really good to uh, to do a ballet class um, standing, really, uh, with the type four. Now, can we go standing, actually, everyone? Yes. Just because I want to show how it's absolutely amazing when you are here and you're going to kick uh, front with a bungee, I guess you have it on the side, yes? And you're adding resistance as you're doing your kick. Tell us, Ashley. I'm just I guessing. Will... <laughs> no, you're doing it. You're exactly right. Um, one thing to do for starting is just to warm it up, just like we were doing laying down. Hold your leg bungees, pull the standing leg sides out. And this is going to recruit those stabilizer muscles. And first start with assisting the leg so that we can recruit the proper muscles and help relax the ones that don't need to be working, right? And so this is gonna help lighten the leg. And once you're ready, line up the bungees, hold both out to the side, and now do the leg kick, and now you've got that resistance. That's good change leg, guys. Good. I like that. I just think it's really good. It's, it's really cool to have that. It's surprising how hard it is. These 
little bungees don't look like how they feel. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I've done your workout. Oh yeah. <laughs> and come back here. We're going to open the legs now to the side. Yes, by the way, Ashley, she's the queen of the online classes. She was doing that years before the, the lockdown. So she's got a great platform and she's using the typo and I highly recommend you to join her for these classes. She's amazing. Now, I want your hands here. We're going to reach down and lift and down and lift. So I want to see how the bar uh, workout will be doing with the type four. Well, first of all, thank you for the kind words, Sandrine. So when you come down, you can hold the bungees, pull them out, guide the legs, and then let go. And when you do the arms above the head, reaching, lifting, you just feel that lift. It's wonderful. Yeah. I think after this workout, we're all going to order our, our type for <laughs> and join your classes. <laughs> oh, I'd love that. Um, yeah. today's, the last day, today's the last day of the April special. So the type fours are 25% off with an April really? ship. Yes. Do the deliver in UK as well. Sandrine, I'd love to do another live stream class with you and do all standing. Yes, that would be good. We could do a bar class. Yes. Good. Coming back here. Now, can we just go down and reaching down? So you really want to press into your heels. Reaching down here with your hand. And coming back, relaxing your shoulders, guys. Ta-da! And obviously, the people with the typo, you worked harder than we did. But we tried our best, okay? It's all about trying our best. But thank you so much, Ashley, to show us all that. Like I was saying, I mean, she's the queen of the online classes and, and on the TIFO as well. And she works with Physical Man Institute um, New York in the education program. So yeah, she is the girl to go and follow first of all and try to join her classes. They're amazing. I join her classes. I think you're the only one I join actually. <laughs> That's, that means a lot. That's very special. And I, I love taking this class from you. It was kind of fun. You kept me on my toes. I didn't know it was coming next, but that's part of the fun of the type four is it's creative and you just try, yeah. you just try different things because no matter how you're pulling the bungees or manipulating them, it changes the entire, um, no, 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 body no, no, no. So. Yeah. I love it. And I mean, for my UK clients here, I know that we've got people from all over the world here on that platform. But for my UK people, we are we actually have the type of at the studio. So when it's going to be reopening, we'll have it. And uh, and hopefully Ashley will come and teach us at the studio in England. Um, yes, I'm good for that. Uh, yes. <laughs> Sandrine, Sandrine, can I say, Sandrine, if she is the queen, you are the princess. Absolutely. Thank you, Nadia. See you. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Thank you. 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 Thank you.